been going on for some time. Is there a story behind Bianca? There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl and I'm in mean, promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know. So good to see you. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. Commander is grateful for your support, Champion. Champion, 
welcome. What is this urgent matter you spoke of? There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. I'm surprised you would turn to me. We haven't always seen eye to eye. I have asked you to track these fugitives so you might see for yourself what we Templars deal with every day. If you still think them worth our mercy, tell me then. I'm not doing your job for you. You claim to have Kirkwall's interests at heart? Show it. Prove that you are champion in more than just name. With the influence you wield in this city, champion, it is crucial you understand just what we face. Talk to these mages' families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. You aren't afraid of what I'll do. I hope you'll do the right thing. You do not approve of my methods. But perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. Speak to my assistant Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emile, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Out of Hightown, some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. What do you know about the de Lancey's? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marchers over three decades ago. Emile was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the first Enchanter on her arrival, and asked to take her place here. That doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Did the Templars run her into Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. 
The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. Starkhaven's too pretentious for me, and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Dabbling. I thought you'd have noticed by now.
curves with Demonic influences through the love of the maker. You're too quiet, Varric. I'm thinking of switching to romances. Nothing? Not even a foreboding frown? I am content. Write what you will. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of it. Contentment in the barracks? We'll pay to hear that shit. Then I should have thought of it years ago. The sounds coming from inside are always so cheerful, but I never know what to do in there. Greetings, Messer. Meryl, what are you doing here? We're here about Huon, Misa. Oh. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But, but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. A user, just looking for another handout. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, sir. Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him.
you on. You're going to pay for what you did. place would be nicer if they opened it up to get some sunlight. Of course, I guess Kirkwood would collapse. We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. Does Evelina live here? Why are you here? This is our home as much as it is hers. Evelina shared everything she had with us. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. But when she went to join the circle here, they called her apostate. For leaving the tower and for Elden. They locked her up. If you tell me where Evelina is, I'll try my best to help her. You can trust me. No one can help her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. She's in the sewers, child. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We... we have to hide. Cricket! Stray. 
strange. I always thought I'd wind up arresting you someday. If I ever decide to get called Aveline, you'll be... What are you doing here? I, 
I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Ferelden. Like us. That you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. That's on you, traitor. And on the perfection was that sent you, Turquoise should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. To up! saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. This isn't going to stop. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. thugs who target the streets just because it's dark.
Good evening, Comtesse. Oh, the champion of Kirkwall. This is marvelous. You honor this household. I will call for refreshments. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. Thank you for your hospitality, Comtesse. I need to speak to you about Emile. Hospitality? This? Oh, it is a disgrace. If you had just sent a message to say you were coming. I haven't seen Emile since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emile will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulce! What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling, we have guests. Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. <laughs> I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in Lowtown taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. If there is a way to help Emil, I will find it. Thank you, champion. An acquaintance spied Emil in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. The hanged man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulcie. Perhaps you should lie down. But the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> Olesians. Emile de Lancé? Hey, how do you know my name? Did Nella tell you? I gave her my Lancé signet ring in exchange for a kiss. And tonight, she's going to make me a man. The Comte was right. How did the Templars miss him? He's lived in the circle all his life. He can't function in the real world. 
Round of drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know, and you are. Feeling very sorry for you. I'm also helping the Templars hunt a mage named Emile de Lancé. And here you are. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, suave. Do you have a death wish? You grew up in the circle. You know what the Templars do to blood mages. I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six! For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. The Ferelden circle's more fun. Everyone was kissing everyone. Though that was before the abominations. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. I can't believe we've wasted our time on this idiot. I just don't want to die a virgin. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. I'll wait here till you're ready to go back to the circle. Thank you. Well? I'm not going to tell you about it. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh. No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Mark, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Blondie comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I'm not here on business. Just dropping by. Drinking is business, champion. You know that. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Barrick? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. To admit, Anders, of the mages I know, you're the one I expected to go out.
I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. At least this is over. Wait. That's it? Pay us and send us on our way? Not a single thought given to the fact that you Templars brought all of this upon yourselves. Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the champion protects you only so much. You've gone too far, and you know it. Maybe if you never took Huon from his wife, she wouldn't be dead. Evelina could be alive. And with the children, she risked everything to save. There are maybes enough to fill half the graves in Kirkwall. I will not add more to the pile. Enough. I have not the patience to argue with you further. 